Hi, my name is uh, Sid Srinivasa. I'm a professor at the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. I work on robots physically interacting with the world, picking up objects, diffusing bombs. Um, it's really exciting. Uh, it allows me to try and understand not just how robots do these tasks, but also try and understand how we perform these tasks. We take manipulation, physically interacting with the world, for granted. Um, but really, it's the integral of so many hundreds of thousands of years of our own evolution that enables us to so effortlessly pick up a coffee mug off of a table. And we're trying to teach robots that instinct, that ability to be able to understand what the world looks like, but not just understand passively what the world looks like, but actively, physically interact with it. HERB it stands for Home Exploring Robot Butler. It's a robot that uh, has two arms and a Segway base that we've been building since 2005. And he is our platform for autonomy. We're trying to build robots that can be completely autonomous, can wander around in your home or your office or in a disaster rescue scenario, and perform complex manipulation tasks with and around people. So what we're doing is we're developing machine learning algorithms that can look at you and understand your state, understand whether you're happy or sad, and also understand your intentions. As I move my arm, you are running prediction algorithms that are trying to predict what my goals are, what my intentions are. And it is those prediction algorithms that are helping us to collaborate seamlessly. Think about the time when you work in a kitchen with someone. It's a delicate dance. It's a delicate dance of moving around them, but it's also a delicate dance of anticipating what they're going to do or what they're trying to do and completing the task for them. And I want humans and robots to be able to perform that dance every day in our homes, in our daily lives. And that is what will enable sort of seamless human-robot collaboration. We have over 6 million people in the United States who are in need of care. And I think it's our both moral and civic responsibility to make sure that we can build technology that is not just useful and functional, but actually can provide care for people in need. I think one of the really exciting parts about robotics is that we not only get to develop the theory and write the algorithms, but also put them on real systems that go and have impact on real people. Uh, I'm collaborating with the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, where we're working with patients with high spinal cord injuries, paraplegics, quadriplegics, and a lot of these patients are kids, teenagers who are bungee jumpers and cave divers and broke their spine. The ability to work closely with them, to understand what their challenges are, and the potential that we can actually, in our lifetimes, develop technology that can help them is extremely rewarding and extremely challenging, but really exciting.